Hi and welcome, um, I'm Bradley, as many of you know from Raw Business and it's my great pleasure today uh, to introduce um, somebody to us, uh, Salvador. Salvador owns a company called Ebury Partners uh, here in London. We're just going to have a formal interview um, to put out uh, some information to our uh, potential members and for everybody else that uh, is interested in reading Raw Business magazine. Now before we start, we, we have a quick chat. We've been doing an interview this morning at uh, Salvador's offices in London. Uh, I wanted to just uh, just set set the scene and tell a little bit of a story. Um, in my background, as many of you know, I've spoken about a lot of my different experiences. One of my experiences is importing and exporting products um, from from the Far East to the UK and from the UK um, back out to, to mainland Europe. And importing and exporting products, as you know, you need to consider buying currency. Um, nine times out of ten, this is normally done through your bank, and you buy your currency. Um, and you then start to import or export your products. But um, is there another way that you can buy and secure your currency requirements? And is there a company that maybe offer you cost savings on doing so and other very beneficial um, service options and support and advice perhaps on, on, on what currencies are, are, are doing and how your business could be affected by currencies? I know looking back now, uh, if I'd have known a company like Ebury, I could have saved myself lots of money on currency fluctuation and I think the most important thing is I could have protected my business. Now, everybody that imports and exports starts somewhere, whether you start off importing a, a small product and then eventually grow into a, a large product and large product volume, or you may be established in the market already, already importing and exporting products. So I wanted to ask Salvador a couple of questions about yeah. Ebury. Um, we spoke this morning about your background and you've been a very successful trader in the market and from, from, from going to market you decided to set up uh, your own business. Um, tell us a little bit about Ebury and what Ebury does. Well, Ebury is a foreign exchange broker uh, that is focused on the SME market and its main um, aim is to bring uh, financial services uh, to the SME market uh, products and services that they don't have or they don't receive from their banks. Uh, the main thing that these companies get from us is great savings because our rates are much better than the banks. They can save between 2 and 4% compared to the rates that the banks offer them. So when they look at the bottom line, it has a big impact. Uh, but also, they can, as you very well said before, they can protect their businesses. It's something that is a message that is more difficult to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, that when you are on the right side of the on the wrong side of the trade, sorry, you get it very quickly because you may see your business losing a lot of money and your profit being wiped out because you have a huge effect exposure because you are buying in a different currency that you are selling that and that is a big element of risk in your in your business model. So it's a very simple tool that we offer, a very simple product. To eliminate totally that risk so that you know that your bottom line is protected so it's not only about savings but it's also about protecting your bottom line making your earnings smoother and reducing that volatility thank you i mean i hear these horrific stories where people have started to import their product and the currency uh, they've not considered buying their currency forward and, and as you say they, they, they've lost thousands hundreds of thousands sometimes sometimes millions of pounds in, in, in currency changes. So how will you get the message out to, to people in the market to let them know about eBury services? And, and, and how will you uh, help your client? I mean, do you have some, some, some kind of comparison um, opportunity to sh show clients that how your working with eBury could be different than working perhaps with their current source? I think that the, the main two things that they can gain with us, one is savings because of better pricing, and another one is protecting their businesses through forward, through forward products. So we offer, uh, as free services, uh, price comparison. So mm -hmm. they can, and we also offer free audits uh, of your currency transactions. Okay. So if you are an import business and you are buying from the Far East, uh, you can tell us in the last few months what are the transactions that you've made, at what rate you've done them with your bank, and we can tell you. If you were trading with us, this would have been the rates and this would have been the savings. So you can see, in your bottom line, if you are saving at two percent in the total turnover, uh, and you have a profit margin of twenty percent, you may increase that profit margin from twenty to twenty-two, so which is a ten percent increase. So it's uh, when you when you look at your profit, it has a big impact. It's not 
it's something that fluctuates very quickly and you don't really see how much you are paying to the bank for those services, but it can have a huge impact in the bottom line. That's the first thing, that we offer these free services for you to understand um, the benefit to your company. The second one is a little bit more difficult to explain, which you have experienced it yourself, so that's why you explained it very well, protecting your business. But for companies that are starting to import or export, they are starting to deal in FX, uh, buying or selling abroad, uh, they have not experienced it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are trying to help them so that they understand it before they lose a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Because if, let's say that you have a simple business where you sell everything in the UK and you buy everything from China. That's quite common these days, isn't it? If the currency fluctuates, and in, in that uh, process you have a 20% margin, but that depends on the exchange rate. If suddenly the exchange rate moves at 20% and your imports become a 20% cheaper, your profit margin is at 40%. So, huge, much better business, isn't it? Of course. But if it is the other way around and becomes a 20% more expensive, then you're wiped out, so you have Absolutely. no profits. Uh, and what we <coughs> try to teach our clients is look, this is not about trading the markets, this is not about uh, trying to get a 40% margin instead of a 20%, it's about protecting your business, it's about uh, getting a 20% margin this year, another 20% margin next year, and 20% all the years, not one year at 40%, another year at 0%, and that earnings volatility is very bad for any business. Of course, of course. So prevention is better than cure, and that's, uh, that goes yeah. without saying. So um, we've, got, uh, we've got different businesses in the UK, we've got lots of different business sectors. Mm -hmm. Are there any limitations to the type of business that you can offer your service to? No, there's no limitations at all. FX, uh, payments and hedging products is something that we offer across the board to any company that needs to either import or export. Okay. What if I was a private client and uh, I wanted to buy a new home abroad, or perhaps I was buying a, 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 a motor yacht or a boat, uh, uh, yeah, can you help private the, clients? Sure, I mean the, the, the same logic applies, it's uh, the same service with a more personal touch, because they need to understand, they know less about the uh, currency market, so we offer a more personal service to make sure that they really understand um, the product that we offer and how we deliver value to them. But it's the same, that, that house that you are buying abroad may end up being a 4% more expensive. Because if you're a private client, you get even worse rates uh, from the high street yeah. banks that you get as a corporate. Yeah, I mean, the big is a volume. FX is usually a volume game. If the bigger you are, the better service and the better prices that you get. And it is because we are very big that we get very good prices that we can translate to our clients. That's our, mainly our business model. And you as a private client will probably get uh, or private clients usually get even worse rates that the same means tend to get from their banks. And that saving in a 2-4% uh, means that well, that house is at a, a bit cheaper than, than it could be with the bank. Yes. But not only that, let's say that you are paying the deposit now and you have to pay the balance in 10 months time. Then you are in the same situation that our company that is importing from, from China. You don't know how much it's going to cost you in pounds at the end of those 6 months. So we offer the service where, where you can lock the rate and you know exactly how much that is going to cost. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, uh, with, with Raw Business, we've got um, you know quite a few thousand members and we've, we've got quite a, a reasonable distribution in the magazine. And although I have personally imported and exported myself, I haven't actually come across a company that can say, uh, can demonstrate that your currency can be bought more cost effectively, resulting in increased bottom line profits. So this is a really, really exciting opportunity for businesses to consider their import and export currency options. And I'm, I'm actually surprised I've not heard of it. So um, presumably there are uh, people existing in the market that deal with currency. Ebre is working very closely with small to medium enterprise companies. So how do you feel yourself about being somebody that was uh, employed working for a company and now you are an entrepreneur, so you're now an entrepreneur helping fellow entrepreneurs, so that must give you a great feeling when you save the money for the businesses. Yeah, totally, because uh, what differentiates ourselves is that we offer our clients a consultative service and we <coughs> tend to know about their business model and we tend to, to have a close relationship with them. Uh, and you get th that, that feeling where you are helping other guys that are going through the same things that you are going, it's very really rewarding. Fantastic. And what about uh, location? I mean, you guys are based in London. Uh, we're uh, we're near Victoria, opposite Victoria Station. Uh, what about the um, 
the, the, the geographic location? Um, I mean, UK, uh, you're dealing with UK business only, or are we going further for, afield? For the time being, it's mainly UK businesses, but we want to uh, start operating all over Europe. Yeah, and is there any, res yeah. any restriction uh, for anyone in the UK to deal with Ebu doing? Do they have to be based in London? Presumably, someone could be based in Cornwall, and you could be. Yeah, they don't need to be based in, in London, of course. Yeah. So you can cover the it's whole very easy. It's very easy to deal with us. Uh, I mean, every client has a, an, an FX consultant associated that understand their business model, understand okay. their needs, and are in touch with them. And whenever they need to make uh, a transaction, uh, our consultant would call them, or they will call our consultant. Uh, they agree on the rate, uh, and that's it. Uh, they close the deal with our consultant. They receive the confirmation of the deal and the instructions of the payment that they need to send to us and from there we make the payment Fantastic. Uh, okay. to the supplier. So the process is very um, uh, uh, client relationship led. Yeah. So that I would imagine there's an element of trust that builds up over a period of time with your with your clients. And that in today's yeah. market is very, very important. A lot of larger companies over the last year, in my experience, they've looked to what well, that they've they've not personalised. The business hasn't been personalised. And by having a business of your size, you are um, of, a bit, of a good enough size to be able to offer a personal service to clients. So do you think that might be one of the winning angles for Ebra because of the personal service that you're giving to the client? Yeah, I mean, that's one of our differentiating factors. Because we are not a broker that is uh, execution-only broker yeah. that you call when you need to make a transaction and that's it. We know the transactions that you're going to need and we can alert you when there are big market moves. If suddenly the euros are at the cheaper level that they've been in the last three months, <coughs> and you have to buy euros. We make sure that we know that you have to buy euros because we, we, we know your needs and we make sure that you know the same that we know about the market. So when there's that opportunity, we make sure that you are aware of it. Fantastic. And what other products and services um, are eBRI partners looking to uh, build into, uh, into their portfolio? What sort of things are you looking to, to offer customers in the future? G given this consultative approach that I have spoken about, uh, what we've seen is that we end up knowing pretty well about the business model of our clients and the needs that they have within a sector. And within the SME market, uh, our typical client cannot afford to have a good treasury department. So they come to us to deal more efficiently in FX, but when they realize that they are dealing more efficiently in FX, they ask us for help with any other financial services that they may need. So it is within concrete, within concrete sectors that we are trying to offer other products. They are usually related to financing. And these days, uh, getting financing is pretty difficult from the banks. <laughs> Clearly, they are lending less than they were lending mm. a couple sure. of years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So right now, there's other sources of financing yeah. that our clients can access. It can be a factoring service, it can be invoice discounting um, for trade finance. Uh, they will need letters of credit if they need to deal with big orders. And there, uh, we don't act as principal, we don't offer the service ourselves, but we source the best deal for our clients. Yeah. So we have partnered with the main providers, uh, banking and non-banking providers, and we offer those services to our clients. Fantastic. It's a very, very exciting time. So <clears throat> with the service you've got on, on, on the FX, um, uh, although you're saying they must do, you, know, you can offer a discount in terms of the cups you trade in, the service must be quite expensive, right? Is there a cost for using the service apart from the, the savings that you can have on currency? What's the cost to use the service? I mean, for us, uh, clearly the main cost that we've got is the acquisition cost of our clients. Uh, we have a, a strong sales team that has done very well uh, in the last year. Uh, but that is really the, the main component in the cost. So whenever, and also the fact that this sales team, these consultants are on top of our clients offering a consultative service that's costly because it's clearly it's a lot of their time that they employ uh, understanding the business model and uh, offering the services and that's why uh, that opens the opportunity to offer other products. Right. So okay. it's costly but open these opportunities that make it worthwhile. Okay. And in terms of um, an SME client, do you have something that uh, charts the information available that sort of demonstrates the savings that you can give to the client based on X amount of revenue. I mean, if for example, I said to you, well, last year I uh, imported approximately um, a million pounds worth of product 
Mm -hmm. Could you give me a demonstrative, uh, you know, historical savings? Yeah. So we, we can we can offer a free audit. Yeah. Uh, what that means is that you will have to let us know the transactions that we, you've done with the date, and we can tell you uh, for every single day where the market was trading. Yeah. What is the rate that we could uh, have offered you, and you can see the savings that you could have achieved in every transaction, and at the end of the year, what the total savings are. Okay, so that's got to be priceless to business, surely? Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, we are getting very good response on that service. Also, we offer uh, free price comparisons. So, yeah. let's say that you don't have that information handy, it's difficult yeah. to compile that information. Then when you are going to do the next transaction, and you are going to get a, a rate from uh, whoever your provider is, you can compare with us. So you can see the savings that you have in a transaction that is uh, 100,000, then you can extrapolate if you are making 2 million over the year, you can see what the savings are going to yeah. be. That's fantastic. I mean, I know somebody personally that, um, uh, that had a business that was importing <coughs> from China and importing with US dollars, and the dollar rate actually moved so, 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 so badly uh, against, uh, against the currency that this particular person's business was nearly nearly finished due to the yeah. currency problems and now this individual does buy forward so when you start in business you don't always have all the information that you need and sometimes we learn by our mistakes by using eBay partners essentially some of these mistakes could be avoided exactly that's what we are trying uh, to teach our clients uh, that those may be very costly mistakes I think that a lot of uh, people have learned the lesson because the credit crunch has shown <coughs> that the FX markets are very volatile. Yes. Uh, yeah. And we are still going through turbulent times, so that the dust has not settled. And uh, we are still seeing a lot of volatility in the markets. Uh, even what's happening because of the European debt crisis lately, I mean, we've seen a lot of volatility in, in the markets. And, Clearly, uh, given how the economies are performing, until everything is, all these problems are solved, there's going to be a lot of volatility uh, until we get there. Uh, and many clients have learned the lesson because they have experienced that volatility. Of course, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the many businesses that were in the wrong side mm -hmm. during those times are no longer in business. Uh, and some businesses have been on the right side, and that volatility has proved uh, to them that they have made more money. But they have also learned the lesson because they realized, wow, could the other way. we could have gone the other way. Yeah. It has been great, yeah, but was, uh, that, that was can, I, can yeah. I afford to have this sort of volatility within my company? Yes, yes, of course. So I think that many companies have learned the lessons, and the ones that have not, we are doing our best yes, of uh, to, help them, to help them reduce the risk and the volatility of, the, of their earnings. Uh, fantastic. Uh, well, thank you for um, joining us today uh, on the video um, on Law Business. What we're going to be doing is we've got a couple of uh, uh, more extended interviews about Salvador um, and his background and much more extensive information about Igri Partners. And we've got uh, two separate interviews coming up um, in editions uh, 16 and 17 of Raw Business. We're also going to be featuring on Raw Business uh, blogs, online blogs, some more information about trade, import and export. And we're going to be featuring advice from Ebury Partners and looking to recommend Ebury Partners um, as a, a currency trading company for our members that are import and exporting to come to and to start building relationships. So we're very excited um, about 2011, very excited to, to meet Salvador and we congratulate him on his new business journey and uh, we wish him every success and look forward to, to meeting you guys um, in the future again and working with you more closely with our members to ensure business success because after all we don't start our businesses to fail, we start to succeed and if you can learn from some other people's mistakes and use them to your advantage then it will make your journey that bit easier. Thanks for joining us.